Hey guys, I hope you're ready because I have a little game I want you to play with me. So, go ahead and bring out your palms and I want you to tap your fingers with your thumbs in any direction that you want. So whatever direction that is, it's okay. So once you get a, ha a handle on that, then I'm gonna challenge it. So now I want you to take your left thumb and put it on your left index finger and your right thumb and put it on your pinky finger. So both are starting in a different position. And you're going to tap your fingers with your thumb to end up in the same spot that you started. So I know this is gonna be a little weird. I know it was for me, it was like really hard and I couldn't get it and I was laughing at myself a lot, which is good, laughing is good. Um, but this is a game that you can help to challenge some of those higher level areas of your brain that help to quote unquote keep your lid on. So when you're stressed, um, when you are uh, in pain and you need a healthy distraction, you really want to recruit those part, the higher parts of your brain to help calm those more reflexive, automatic, fight or flight, gas pedal on, stressed out mode, especially when you're experiencing a flare up, for example, of pain, right? Because that, that happens frequently. You know, we want to start to create different uh, neurological uh, trails. We want to start to create different adaptive patterns in our brain. And we have to really train our brain to you know, unlearn that painful process that has been on repeat for a very long time. And one way we can do that is by playing some brain games. So go ahead and try this alternating um, finger tapping exercise. Again, first starting off really simple, doing it in one direction, okay? Then challenge yourself by doing, you know, thumb to index finger, thumb to pinky finger, and then do it. Okay, and then when you get really good at that and you want to challenge yourself, go ahead and close your eyes and do it. See if you can do it. Or put your hands behind your back and see if you can do it. Or see if you can do a little shimmy and do it. So have fun with this exercise and challenge yourself, but start slow and work your, work your way up. And also, don't just use this when you're already to the point where no return, right? We've, 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 we were stressed, we were already in a situation that uh, we were not gonna remember to do this. Um, the goal is to practice these things when you're calmer, when you can remember, when you're you know, at a red light and you're waiting for it to turn green, when you're at the grocery store waiting in line, you know, when, you're, when you're in the bathroom, <laughs> you know, wherever. You know, practice it where things are much easier for you to do versus in a more difficult situation because you're building up that, 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 that mental brain muscle um, to use those higher functioning levels of your brain instead of the more automatic fight or flight parts of your brain. And you'll notice that the triggers, you'll be more resilient when those, those things happen, especially during a flare up. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this brain game um, and uh, have fun.